Hi guys, Showmofo here, back with some more awesome Robocraft fun, and we're in our new players video playlist, so uh, we're going to be looking at uh, making something decent with this guy. Now, last time um, I just showed you an overview of the website and some basics of the game, and we had about 250 RP when you first start. Now, I had two pretty awful games and managed to get 385, so that's not bad. But I think we can do a bit better, and uh, I think one of the first things we need to do is to just scrap this design. Now, I'm just going to hold the right uh, mouse button down, and that will take away a cube. But if I just keep it held down and just move it around, I can shred the whole thing. Okay, there we go. Now we've got a nice empty bay, and I'm just going to press G, and then click on the second bay because we've got a few uh, blocks in here as well. So let's just have those out. Okay, and there's nothing in our third bay at the moment. Um, so let's go to bay one. Let's load our robot up, and let's get building something. Now the first thing you're going to want to do is build what I refer to as the idiot stick. And the reason I call it an idiot stick is if you forget to delete it, you will port in with this thing and it will not help your bot at all. Okay, so uh, we've got some cubes. I press Q there. Uh, pressing Q will just bring up your inventory there. Um, and we can see we've got the light cubes. Um, and they're the very first armor that you can get. And the glass is exactly the same. It just has a different skin. Uh, the grey is a heavy cube, um, it has the same armour as the white cubes, it just is heavier so you can use it to balance out and make a more stable bot with that. Um, but all of these have the same armour values. Now the difference between these cubes and the standard cubes is not just cosmetic. Okay, um, so if we go to the inner, the inner weighs slightly less but has the same armour as the full solid cube. Uh, the prism has roughly half the weight of the standard cube, but the same armor. And not only that, it distributes the damage to less adjacent cubes. Um, so, um, the transfer of damage is limited through the prisms, and this will be very useful um, to you in making a better bot. And with these, if you can make a bot out of all of these, you're onto a winner because these weigh the least, they have the same armor, and again, they don't transfer damage uh, quite as badly as these guys do. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to start out with, um, hmm, I think we'll start out with a heavy chassis, just so we can see the chassis shape. And then we're going to remember straight away to get rid of this, because we don't want to port in with that. Okay, so I'm going to make a nice little wheelbase. And it probably isn't going to need to be made out of these grey cubes. Uh, that's adding weight, but for the time being, that's just to show you the chassis. I've gone on to movement now, and I'm going to pick uh, steering wheels. Now, I like to have steering wheels on the back and drive on the front. Um, the drive don't steer, uh, they just propel your vehicle along and I've got those on the front because they're more likely to be shot off first. And let's see, what's our CPU? Our, our CPU is very low, we've got 425 uh, and that's how many cubes and bits and pieces you can add to the craft. If you look on the inventory here uh, under wheels um, they have a CPU of 20, so each one of those is going to cost you 20 CPU, uh, whereas a standard block of armor just costs you one CPU. Okay, so I've got a nice wide wheelbase and also a heavy chassis. That will help keep our craft very stable, and of course we will need our pilot seat. And I'm going to place him just there. Now, we're going to get straight into some triforcing, uh, just because it will help a lot. Um, and what I'm going to do is, uh, I'm going to use these, I'm going to place two on here like this. Now, because I'm not going to have anything 
underneath here. These blocks only count as connecting to the blocks underneath the pilot chair. So if I put one there and one there, um, these two blocks, although they're adjacent, will not distribute damage to each other. Uh, I'm going to put one there and one there. And then likewise, like that. So that's limiting. So the damage can only be spread from the outside of the vehicle along this chassis at the moment. Okay. And uh, I think I'm going to do the same here. And I'm not really sure what I'm building just yet. Um, uh, we're going to want this covered up quite a little bit. Uh, what I might do actually is um, take these guys off. Oops. <laughs> and you move around inside the base just as you would do. Uh, in game with the W, ASD keys and the spacebar and shift uh, to move you up and down. And for the time being, I'm just going to uh, put this all the way along here. This is just going to be to help me fill some stuff in. Now this will work fine, uh, you could get more complicated with it, you could change it so that every other one they transfer damage through a different way. Um, and this will increase, or rather decrease, how the damage spreads to your build. Uh, then what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to take that cube out of there, that cube out of there, that cube out of there, and that cube out of there, so we can put our wheels back on. Uh, again, I'm going for steering wheels on the rear of the vehicle. And I'm going to go for drive at the front. Now, um, one of the things you'll have to learn about is redundancy. So, what that means is, uh, for example, uh, for this to function as a kind of car type vehicle, um, we need some steering wheels and we need enough wheels to move. Um, the steering wheels, um, they cost an extra flop each compared to these. So to save on flops, I'm just using uh, two steering wheels and two drive wheels. Now, what redundancy would mean is I would have extra wheels so that if any were shot off, this would still work. Now, this is where you have to start making choices because Rather than go for redundancy in wheels, I will probably go for redundancy in weapons. Um, six weapons is the most effective uh, spread of weapons that you can have. But, for example, you might want to have eight weapons so that you have a redundancy of two. So that if you lose a couple of weapons, you've still got the most effective spread of weapons you can have. And that's what I mean when I talk about redundancy, uh, just so you know. Okay, uh, so we've got a little car that works and uh, you can take it into practice mode by pressing B and then pressing P. Okay, and in practice mode there's a few AI bots um, for you to have a go at. They're not very good um, in terms of uh, practicing against really, other than just to get your aim on. Um, really, this is just to make sure that your craft is stable and functions well. So you can see here I've got no problems uh, keeping to the ground, steering, rear wheel drive. Can we get up here? Now this is a bit of a problem. What I might do is take the weight out um, because with having a wide wheelbase uh, as long as I don't have anything to make me top heavy, I don't really need those grey cubes. They're adding weight to the craft, and that weight on the craft 
um, will reduce the effectiveness of my wheels. So I could either put more wheels on or I could reduce the weight of my craft. Okay, so let's go in and uh, what we'll do is we'll take these guys out. Now, I don't think I'll be building anything that particularly needs uh, balancing out. So, I really don't think there is going to be any need at all to have grey cubes on here for the time being. Okay, we'll just see what difference that made. Okay, so I can't really tell that I'm much faster, but I think this will be a little bit faster. But let's try and drive up here and see if it gets up any easier than it did before. Yep, there you go. So that's the difference that the weight will make to the wheels. It's still having some difficulty on that steep bit of terrain, but I think that's more the um, the widespread of my uh, wheelbase. The wheels aren't making enough contact. And as you can see, I I'm still fairly stable. Um, unless you had a top-heavy build that was forcing your bot to lean over in a particular direction, you don't really need to be adding that weight in. Here we go. But you can see, it still has the limitation That means I can't get up here now. Uh, if I had jets available to me, which I believe are available at T2, that would help with that. If I had more wheels, that would probably help be able to get me up here uh, without difficulty. Okay, so uh, we've got the base for our craft. And what we're going to be doing next is fleshing it out and adding some weapons, taking it onto the battlefield and uh, hopefully getting some kills so we can level up. And I'll be doing that in the next video. So I hope you enjoyed that, hope you learned something, and uh, I'll be seeing you next time. Uh, bye bye